Today we will be reviewing analysis patterns by modern faller reusable object models. When this book came when design patterns were very very new. So a lot of people were talking about how to reuse technical object model or uh, patterns in object oriented programming to solve technical problems. So at this time Martin Fowler came up this book analysis pattern. So which, this analysis pattern is aimed at finding what are what are the common domain models that he found in his during his work experience while working for healthcare, finance, accounting firms. So he listed out a lot of useful analysis pattern. So first thing he defines why the, the, you need analysis pattern. There are design patterns which are focused on the design problem. So we have to realize this analysis pattern and the justification for this analysis pattern came from a methodology called rational unified processes. This rational unified processes methodology is used by big consulting firms. Uh, I remember working for a very big five consulting company they used to use rational unified process. In rational unified process it is the iterative process. Uh, there, there was one more but one particular thing before design phase there was an analysis phase. So a lot of people think whatever the object model be designed we are trying to figure out our problem domain model. It could be insurance, it could be healthcare. Chances are we figured out okay, in healthcare, there's an encounter, you go to the hospital, there are physicians. So, generally, the design pad, uh, whatever the object model defined during analysis and design, it's same. So, a lot of people think why we need analysis phase in rational unified process, or uh, what's the need of doing anal analysis? when we are doing now agile methodology. Lot of people think there is no room for design or analysis for design phase. So he, he came up very good thing. The, 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 what is the, the difference is very subtle that the focus of analysis phase is understanding the problem domain. Wherever design phase you are solving the problems of the domain wherever analysis analysis it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be correct you are trying to understand the problem you may omit some details and uh, that's what like uh, somebody nicely said that models are not right or wrong some are more useful some are less useful so coming back to the coming back to the another thing he another thing he justifies why he need to come up with the analysis model come up with diagrams having a mo model uh, describing diagrams using graphical diagrams to describe the problem domain of healthcare trading company finance company Lot of people say we don't need documentation in agile methodology. The code is the documentation. The model is captured in the code. We can do do reverse engineering in the code. Uh, code uh, now modern Visual Studio modern code editors gives us visualization of the code. Why we need to do? So he comes up uh, whatever the arguments go in favor of model driven architecture. That once you have a model. It is language independent. This model can be implemented in C sharp, Java, or Python. One more very convincing argument he gives gives it for coming up the analysis model is that you can train the uh, domain experts who may not be the technical. He has uh, he ha he has uh, he has trained lot of experts. In the, he has trained physicians, nurses, engineers in drawing the domain model. These domain experts know the business 
and it's very easy to uh, for them to understand these graphical notations and they can draw the domain model for you so i found this book very useful uh, sometime i have to start in a new industry finance industry maybe healthcare ind industry so i want to know some terms before i go to the company and uh, this book has all those terms uh, it gives me understanding how the trading works how the accounting software works so one wishes there were more uh, literature like that i went to martin fowler website and he has this has this book is very old and he has said like most of the things are still true in this book and he wishes he could update in this book he wished uh, he he wished that people in this book starts some movement and a lot of people will capture more analysis border patterns from their domain and i know for insurance uh, people you can buy from ibm or other companies do sell their uh, architecture or so uh, it's a nice book i wish there were more material available to developers where which uh, where we can understand the more business side of the business side of the domain models i enjoyed this book it may not be beneficial for all of a uh, lot of people but if you are in some consulting business where you are changing the domain this book can be very very useful for you thanks for watching this video my name is vikas kerni i have more than 20 years of experience in it industry i am togaf certified architect do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates thanks thank you